Hi, did you know that Salem, Massachusetts is notorious for being associated with witches and witchcraft? Well, after hearing my speech here today, you'll become more educated on the history Salem holds as well as the history of the Salem Witch Museum and some things you can expect upon visiting. So Salem is known as the Witch City. It is filled with many tourist attractions, including the Salem Witch Museum which remains the number one visited museum in Salem, Massachusetts. The Salem Witch Museum takes guests back into the time where allegations of witchcraft terrified fellow townspeople. Can you imagine the fear felt by a townsperson in 1692? At the Salem Witch Museum, you're given a history lesson using a stage to dis display realistic figures and lighting and informative narration. And by doing so, Salem Witch Museum has remained a hotspot for tourists over the years. I personally would love to visit. Salem Witch Museum is a great attraction to visit and it has a lot to offer. It will teach you the history of Salem as well as the a time filled with hysteria and the history of the witch trials. Let's begin to go over some history that Salem holds. So for my first visual aid, I wanted to show this book, which is called What Were the Salem Witch Trials? This is the book here. And basically it goes over what they were, why they happened. Um, it is by Joanne Hulub and it, it's fairly short. So I do recommend it for anybody that is interested in learning more about the witch trials. Um, so Salem Witch Trials started in Colonial Massachusetts in 1692. Betty Paris, age 9, and Abigail Williams, age 11, became ill, says the Witch Museum 2019. They began displaying strange behaviors, bizarre noises, and hiding under furniture all while holding their head, says Witch Museum 2019. Medication and prayer did not relieve any of the girls' agony, so their parents and fellow townspeople became concerned and they concluded that the girls were suffering from the side effects of witchcraft. So word spread throughout Essex County and soon after others became ill with the same alarming symptoms, Witch Museum 2019. Over the course of 1692, more than 200 people were accused and roughly 150 people were jailed for witchcraft. Unfortunately, 19 people were hung, one man pressed to death after being examined by the court of Oyer and Terminer. This was the greatest witch hunt of, to take place, says Brooks 2011. The 20 townspeople that sadly lost their lives during the witch trials are Bridget Bishop, Sarah Good, Elizabeth Howie, Susanna Martin, Rebecca Nurse, Sarah Wilds, George Burroughs, Martha Carrier, John Willard, George Jacobs, John Proctor, Alice Parker, Mary Parker, Anne Prudator, Wilmot Red, Margaret Scott, Samuel Wardwell, Martha Corey, Mary Eatsy, Kyle's Corey. This information was cited from Brooks 2011 article. So now that we have touched on the history of the witch trials, let's begin to learn about the museum. Um, so for my second visual aid, I have put together this um, poster board for the Salem Witch Museum. So the first picture is a picture of the Salem Witch Museum. Second would be a picture of um, the trials, what a courtroom would look like if we've seen it today. Um, and the third is a sign from the Salem Witch Museum museum which is it's the infamous salem sign so first one i got from salem.org the second one is a witch trial by joseph e baker 1892 which was got received from legend of americas.com and the third one i got from their facebook page it's their profile picture for salem witch museum so that would be my third visual aid so Salem Witch Museum was opened in 1972, says we are 2012, by owners Holly and Tom. The Salem Witch Museum was originally purchased as a church and was renovated into becoming the infamous museum that it is today. More than a million visit visitors came to Salem to visit the Salem Witch Museum over the previously popular Peabody Essex Museum, says we are 2012. The museum instantly became a hot spot on a tourist magnet. Tourism revenue bettered dramatically. We are 2012. 
Salem Witch Museum consisted of a historic lesson that educates tourists on the terrifying time in 1692 that filled the town with hysteria. To be a townsperson in 1692 meant living in fear. A single accusation surfacing could have cost a life, says Hertz, 2010. Innoc 19 innocent lives were lost in this fearful time. 14 women and five men, all of them were hung, but one man was pressed to death, says Brooks, 2011. Let's begin to chat about what can be expected when visiting the Salem Mu Witch Museum. So for my third um, visual aid, I will be referencing my shirt. Um, it has some witch broomsticks on it. It says, come we fly. Because often when we think of witch, we think of broomsticks. Because that's what they fly on, right? So... A visit to Salem's Witch Museum is filled with learning in the most entertaining way, interaction. A vi visiting Salem Witch Museum calls for a thrilling way of learning just what caused fear to flood the town in 1692. The Salem Witch Museum delivers a remarkable history lesson to their guests, says Hertz 2010. When visiting the Salem Witch Museum, you, you can expect a sh stage filled with ambient lighting, realistic figures, and a narration that educates visitors on the witch trials that happened in 1692, says Hertz 2010. Salem Witch Museum offers guided tours of the remade historic sites where costumes actors execute reenactments of the happenings of the 17th century Salem village. Once you are seated, <clears throat> a narration begins, starting with the afflicted girls. The narration covers all points of the witch trials while using dioramas. One of Kyle's, Giles Corey was displayed, as well as the detailed narration of his story, says Brooks, 2015. Kyle's Corey was the man that was pressed to death. He refused to enter a plea deal and he was tortured to death, says Brooks, 2015. By continuing to educate in a visual hands-on manner, this tends to be the reason why the witch museum remains a hotspot. So after hearing my speech today, we have learned about the haunting history of Salem, as well as the History Salem Witch Museum, and what is to be expected when visiting. We now know why Salem Witch Museum has become the town's hotspot and why it's the most visited museum in Salem, Massachusetts to this day. Um, thank you for listening to my speech.